So a very common question on your GCSE or IGCSE maths exam is to write an algebraic fraction, uh, or two fractions actually, uh, as a single fraction in its simplest form. Yeah. So I have two fractions here, and I've got to write it as one fraction in its simplest form. And simplest form, that already indicates that you'll have to collect some like terms at the end. Well, just for our general understanding, if I'm talking about fractions, let's say... I'll do that on the side, 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3. In order to be able to add fractions or subtract fractions, those denominators at the bottom of the fraction needs to be the same. And if they're not the same, you've got to find a common multiple. Now, for this example, 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3, if I multiply my first fraction, 1 over 2, by the denominator of my second fraction, and if I multiply my second fraction by the denominator of my first fraction, I will always find the common multiple. So I will multiply this one by 3, numerator and denominator, yeah, and that one by 2, the top and the bottom, and then it will work out as 3 over 6 plus 2 over 6, and now the denominators are the same, so I can perform the addition. Uh, I add the numerators, 3 plus 2, 5 over 6. Okay. Now a similar thing happens when you're talking about algebraic fractions. Okay. So I have to find a common multiple. I'm just going to write those lines here already of my two fractions. Now, like I did over here, I'm going to multiply this fraction by the denominator of the second fraction. And then I'm going to multiply this fraction by the denominator of the first fraction. Okay, here we go. So, 3x minus 5, so 3x minus 5, numerator and denominator, and the other one, 2x plus 4. So I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom by 2x plus 4. And I'm going to put some brackets there as well. Okay, so let's have a go. Now, the denominator, you do not have to expand that. You can just leave that as two sets of brackets, 3x minus 5, 2x plus 4. And on my second fraction, I notice I get the same denominator, don't you? All right. Now, I can already work out the top, yeah, the numerator. So for my first one, it's 3 times 3x. So it's going to be a 9x. And 3 times minus 5, minus 15. And on the second one, 2 times 2x will be 4x and 2 times 4, a positive 8. Considering my denominators are the same now, and again, I do not have to expand those brackets, I can now do the subtraction. So I'll say equals. Now I'm just going to put the line of the fraction there, and I'll start with writing down the denominator 3x minus 5 and 2x plus 4. And now very carefully, yeah, and I always still use my fingers, I go, so 9x minus 4x, yeah, everybody will have that one right, 5x. But especially that second number, you need to be careful. That's why I use my finger, it's minus 15 minus a positive 8. Yeah, so minus 15 minus a positive 8, and that is minus 23. So don't be overly excited at the end, happy that you are doing it well and do minus 15 plus 8. No, it's minus 15 minus positive 8. So it's actually minus 8, yeah? And especially when this number is a negative, yeah, let's say it would say minus 8, then you would do minus 15 minus minus 8, yeah? But that's not the case for this question, yeah? But always be very careful, okay? So I have combined it now as a single fraction, or I've written it as a single fraction in its simplest form, yeah? Because I've combined those like terms over there. 5x minus 23 over 3x minus 5, 2x plus 4. Okay, I hope that was useful. Otherwise, you let me know. You can share your thoughts and ideas and questions on my website, uh, Facebook, or Twitter account. I'll see you later.